In Mailu, there are caretakers of our past. And when it comes to preserving St. Louis history, Al Haker has a rather unique set of skills. He uses his ears and his craftsmanship to keep the music from going silent. He's the first to admit it. I can make noise. The noise that he makes on the organ isn't exactly what you would call musical. I tried when I was in my 50s. And I, you, you gotta be young to play. You just have, you know, I just, I couldn't get it. But what Al Haker does know I just love the sound of organ. Is what a good keyboard is supposed to sound like. You have to have a pretty good ear to keep the pipes in tune. Well, for the last 16 years... One thing just led to another and it's become almost an obsession. <laughs> Al's been using his good ears to make sure the almost century-old theater organ at the City Museum... The console itself was built in 1924. Sounds as good as it did in its prime. Built to the company silent movies. And so all this, these noisemakers that are in here are from the silent movie days. Al doesn't have a manual, so to speak, on how to keep this antique from going silent. It's a mechanical art, I guess you could say. He just relies on the art of tinkering. There's so many parts in the organ that you, you, you just you have to tinker to make things work. He knows where to look to. I designed this organ. This was my opus one, opus last, I always say. <laughs> the word last, unfortunately, applies to when it comes to craftsmen with Al's mechanical know-how. Here in St. Louis, I'm the only one to play theater. Right he can't do this forever, though. I'm retired. I don't want to work too hard. <laughs> and without a next generation ready to work on them? We have young artists, but we don't have young technicians. Al is concerned that the final curtain could be coming down on old theater organs like this one. I hate to be pessimistic, but I, I think it is kind of fine art. Now, Al also takes care of four other organs in the St. Louis area, mm -hmm. including the ones at the Fabulous Fox and at the Lincoln Theater in Belleville. How incredible, but he's the last he's one. The last, he's trying to get young people to take this on. He just has to find an apprentice and get yeah. them to stay with it and hopefully get them through. Um, how about you? I got another job. <laughs> I gotta, I'm a very busy man around this place. Do you have to know? I guess you have to know how to play the organ, though. No, or the piano. no, no, you, you don't, don't have you don't to know. Need, what he says is just his ear. He has a good ear for music, so he can tell when something's off, and then oh he goes and finds gosh. where that is and takes care of it. Well, maybe we should learn. Maybe we should just do like one more story where we just try it. Just try it. No. Okay. <laughs>